Welcome to an advanced clinical care tutorial. This series of tutorials will cover aspects of caring for patients with complicated HIV and TB disease in Department of Health facilities in South Africa, compiled by the NICD and the National Department of Health and facilitated by Dr. Madeleine Muller, Clinical Advisor for Beyond Zero. This is module seven of eight modules on the prevention, identification and management of cryptococcal meningitis. This module will cover key aspects of initiating art in patients with cryptococcal meningitis. So let's go back to our patient, Mr. Zizi. He's done very well, all his symptoms and signs have resolved, and he was discharged after two weeks on consolidation treatment. But now we have to make a decision about his ARVs. His CD4 count is very low, so when do we start? Shall we take the opportunity to start art whilst he's now in hospital? So let's briefly think about the issues. If we start early with ARVs, we may risk cryptococcal meningitis iris, which could increase the mortality. But if we start too late, we have the risk of HIV disease progression that could also increase mortality. So which option is the most risky? To answer this question, there was a trial called the COAT trial, or the Cryptococcal Optimum ARV Timing Trial, and this was a significant landmark in clarifying this question. As a matter of fact, there was such a huge increase in mortality in the group who started early ART in comparison with those in which ART was deferred that the trial had to be stopped early for ethical reasons. So the recommendation is now clear. Start ARVs within four to six weeks after antifungal treatment is initiated. Early ART leads to higher mortality. A last few practical issues about ART initiation. Patients with cryptococcal meningitis is going to need to take fluconazole for at least a year, and it's essential to link them to care. Don't forget general good HIV care, including cotrimoxazole, and screening for TB. Steroids do not have a role in the first episode of cryptococcal meningitis, but may be useful in an iris scenario. Always discuss these patients if you are considering steroid use. Thank you.